I've been playing Minecraft for 14 years, and with all the updates and changes, there's one thing that I've never done. It's in the game in single player. So I've decided it's finally time, but to add my own little twist. I've added in an extra 900 new achievements to make things a little bit more interesting. But we've got to start somewhere. In this video, we'll focus on finding a good base location, building a small starter home, and gathering the resources we need to prepare for our adventures ahead. So the first thing you need to do on every Minecraft world is to actually punch a tree. And this is some very boring stuff. Everyone's seen it like a hundred times. And I'm just going to kind of skip through this process for you guys. Oh, look, an armadillo. Okay, so now we've actually gotten a bit of starter gear up and sorted. We've grabbed a bit of food. I'm just waiting for it all to cook. Um, let's actually make another furnace for this. But now we've actually got this stuff cooking and actually kind of ready to, to go. Um, we're not too far off actually being ready to just adventure out. We actually did find some, uh, some pumpkins as well, which would be really nice for uh, the next video because hopefully the next video will be coming out around well, when we're further into spooky season. Um... And it'd be more justified for me to maybe make a pumpkin patch. So that'd be nice. Um, there's actually an ocean monument over here. And I didn't realise when I spawned in, all I heard was the guardians doing their like little little sucky noise. <laughs> as, as suspicious as that does sound. Um, but that is all I basically heard. And well, it's good to know that's over there. Good thing I'll be travelling on foot that way. Because yeah, I don't want to go that way. Screw that, the boat will get destroyed. Um, and, uh, yeah, another armadillo, another one for the, the, uh, kill count. There we go, number two. Right, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back once this is all done cooking, and we'll get ready on, well, to go on a little adventure. Okay, right, now, uh, now that that is done, we're ready to head off on an adventure. So what I'm thinking is if we head that way, which is south, we'll head south. Um... We'll see where it takes us, but yeah, I will uh, check back in if anything interesting happens. Thank you for all of the wheat, Mr. Villagers. I will be having this to myself. I know you've worked really hard for it, but well, cry more. It is at this point a skill issue that you are not able to, uh, to stop me. Uh, if you got a bed around here, it's just turning night. Ah, yes, you have. Get out. This is my home. Oh, whoa, okay, right. So actually having a wall motion around here is, is really useful. Um, I end up needing a wall motion pretty, like, well, quite a lot. I need coral. Um, obviously, I can't get that just yet, but I normally need it for, like, TNT duplicators for anything that I build. Um, so I am actually going to just pop a waypoint here, I think. Uh, just in case. Even though it's a, it's a very small... Coral Reef. Very, very small. I'm very hesitant. This place looks very, very nice. And part of me wants to go for it. That's a wall motion as well over there, isn't it? Oh, that makes me want to do it. But I've also been through the trauma of destroying a jungle biome before. And I know I'd end up doing it. But for the content, it could look good. I also don't see any dark oak or spruce around here, which is a concern because I want dark oak and spruce ideally some cherry as well melons amazing right maybe i might settle here you know inside of this i'm not going to kill that cow just in case bamboo too oh okay with well, this i mean the fact i've actually found a jungle this early on is kind of incredible um okay have a look around is there anything like around this way that could be slightly interesting anything around the side let's do a quick perimeter check so i think what the plan will be is eventually we come in here and we take out the jungle uh, we get rid of all of the biome like essentially all the trees uh, it'll be a big project it'll be something we can we can work on but until then we will live on the little outskirt island that's kind of like surrounded by water over this way and i think that'll be a really nice little starting location for us to get ready and built up and we'll figure out what we're going to do with this big area of land um 
it, it seems like a very interesting place and i'm looking forward to seeing what we can do with it this sugar cane already planted here it's just made for us this horses oh it's, it's destiny but we're meant to live here we were simply meant to live here there's two cows like look like, if this isn't just like home like this is just home there's no no question about it this is where we're going to live um let's pop the bed down and let's get our starting gear all set out. I will do my usual of a 3 million chest worth of a chest monster. Because that's what I do best. Um, I'm going to try and stop myself from doing that. I, I, I swear. I will try. I won't succeed, but I'm going to try my best. The thing that is going to limit me is I need spruce and I need dark oak. So what I'm going to do is and the main reason that i i need those things is because i want them for our spawn build I want them for our starting house um because a starting house to me is not something that you build knock down and like replace later on it's something that you should always keep i want to keep it i want it to stay there i want it to be the center of basically everything just so we can come back in 10 20 100 videos time you know and and, and just really enjoy looking at it and knowing where this all started so yeah i want spruce Dark Oak would be ideal as well. I, I'm going to try and get both. We have Acacia, Jungle, Oak. Don't think there's any other woods that we've come across. So ideally, I want Mangrove, Cherry, Spruce, and Dark Oak. If I can get all four of those on this little trip, then that would be amazing. And then I wouldn't really be limited on what I want to do build-wise. But we'll, we'll try and get all four if we can get all four. But without further ado, I guess, I guess we're off on another adventure already. Have a look what loot can be found books very treasure apparently go up so we don't die we don't want that uh, is there a quicker way down there probably not oh jackpot Ooh. Nice. Bit of iron, some emerald, some gold. Spruce, let's go. Or pumpkins, but any more of those. But we will take the spruce. I'm gonna make an iron axe. So I can actually get a bit more of the wood. But yeah, we're in a little bit of a predicament now where, it, where it's night. And we're not really in a safe location. And we don't have wool to make a bed. And I'm trying to avoid us having a situation where we might get killed. Okay. God, from behind. Okay, I think we got enough dark oak. Uh, the night is over, which is great. Though I've just realized there's literally sheep right by here, which is really annoying. That means I literally could have just killed a sheep and slept the night away and not had to deal with half of those struggles. But it's okay. It's okay. So the issue that I have with dark oak is I don't use dark oak straight away. It's one of those woods that I like to hoard and have and just, just have for when I need it. And it's, it's just a pain to chop. But you you just want dark oak. Dark oak's always useful. But the fact that you need four saplings makes makes you feel like you need so many more than you actually do. And that's the challenge that I kind of always have with dark oak. But yeah. Okay. So we've got dark oak. We have spruce. I'm now... Oh, wolf. Oh, I don't have any bones. I'm now running to see if I can find a cherry or a mangrove biome. I know there's a cherry biome over this way. I have checked the seed. The seed will be down below, guys, if you guys want to play along. Oh, village. I actually didn't know that was there. And for context on when I check seeds and things like that, uh, the only thing I'll be checking the seed for is basically biomes. I Maybe an ocean monument here and there. I won't be doing it for things like trial chambers or treasure chat. Tra yeah treasure chests or or the stronghold i won't be doing it for any of that stuff um 
just to save time with biomes. You know, bi new biomes get added to Minecraft all the time. Um, and with the creaking coming in, I think it, it, it's being in the winter drop. I think that's in December. With that coming, you know, I want to know where it is and I want to go check it out for a video. So it's not really anything here I want. I don't really care about having the week. But yeah, so I'll, I'll only ever really check for, uh, you know, for locations on, on places to possibly build and live and, and work on things like that. Maybe witch huts if I want to do a witch hut farm. Just, just the generic stuff. I won't be using it for anything that there's an easy, like there's a way in the game to, to find things. Let's keep this adventure going. Let's head over to the cherry biome. Oh, whoa. It's actually a really nice area. Look at this. It's a place to keep in mind. For a possible uh, place to come to. There's a village up there. I'm not going to go up to it. And there is the cherry biome. Right next to the villages. There's two villages by here. Sunflower plains. This is like actually a really nice location. Like this would be a great place to actually live. Good thing to keep in mind. It's over the other side of like the ocean. So we could do like a dock either way. Um, or like the sea. I think that's more of a sea actually. The, the gap between here and where we're going to be living. Not really sure how many saplings we should be getting here. We'll try and get a few. I don't want to go too crazy. Um, I don't actually want to chop that tree. Okay, I forget how many uh, saplings those trees actually drop. I got 14 just from chopping one. Um, so <laughs> so I, think, uh, I think we'll be okay on that front. Let's head over to the mangrove and we'll get some... Uh, they call propagalias? Prop... Right, it's something like that. Prop propagalia, I think. I can't. Propangula? So it's something along those lines. We're going to head over there now and get those. It's, I think it's about a 5,000 block track from here. Um, which is a little bit far, but it, it's worth the travel, hopefully. There are so many villages around here, man. This is what's crazy about 1.21. Uh, it's actually just so much nice, like so many nice areas that you can live in now. Before, it felt like, felt like it took ages to find... A really nice place and i used to be the sort of person that would like to live in a really flat plains area but now the generation is just so wacky and weird like that it's just so beautiful to look at it really is like you can't just not find that amazing to look at look at that I was cautious that they wouldn't snipe me <laughs> that'd have been really embarrassing just going along arrow to the head oh no it's drowned i, I don't want to mess with them one of them probably has a trident aha mangrove and this is literally one of the easiest trees to oh whoa that's just a lot of horses there. This is literally one of the most easy trees to get saplings from because you can just punch them off the side of the tree, which is just amazing. See some up there on the corner, but I don't want to grab those. Yeah, propagule. That's not how you say it, I don't think. Somebody down below could, uh, somebody in the comments could let me know how I actually am meant to pronounce that. That'd be great. I believe it's propagule, but I also feel like that's just extremely wrong. Um, and I'm harvesting them too early some of them which is okay it's fine that one wasn't early okay right so it's that one did that is all the types of wood collected so let's head back to the base and uh we'll proceed from there oh that's a much bigger coral reef okay so we're we're back at the base now let's just go through some of the stuff that we've actually got because we've actually kitted ourselves up quite well in my opinion obviously we've got basically all the saplings that we could ever want now um we still have the jungle and the acacia and the oak and the spruce kind of missing. Uh, birch, not spruce. Apologies about that. Well, I can see three of them in the backdrop right now and there's loads of acacia nearby, so I'm not too worried. Um, so we have basically all the woods that we're going to need, which means we're basically ready to start construction on our house. But I need to go get some cobblestone, which means I need to go mining. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get ourselves up. We're going to head down into the mines and we're going to collect some resources. Okay, so I've got a list of materials that I kind of need for the house. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another axe because I'm going to need a little bit more wood and a pickaxe. I've quickly just planted some trees by here, just some spruce trees. I'm going to need a bit of oak wood, um, uh, but not too much, just, just you know, a, a stack or two. And uh, then I'm going to need a bit of gravel and just some cobblestone and things like that. It's going to be a really, really small build and just something very basic to get us going. It will be a very, I'm going to say typical starter house. Nothing too intense. Um, it's not going to be, you know, uh, just a box, but it's going to be quite simple. Um, it will be something that realistically in two episodes we will not look at anymore <laughs> or use. Um just because it'll be that small at the end of the day you need a small area that you can kind of live in and 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 kick yourself out so you're not 
completely screwed when it comes to the night time and you need somewhere where you can kind of protect yourself to a certain degree so i'm going to collect all the wood and the resources and then i will look if i can find a cave and uh, i'll come back to you guys once we've actually got a cave and we're, we're basically ready to get into some caves okay so i was just looking at my map because i wanted to see if there was a cave nearby which looks like there's a few and i've just noticed this which means that another temple oh my god it is there's more cows it's the cow oh my god jesus hopefully it's not a hostile animal uh, oh my god Oh, spiders are so much more scary with the data packs I put on. I'm breaking three again. Emeralds again. We take it. That's a decent-ish temple. It's not too bad. Let's go and quickly have a look at the caves that I think might be over this way. In fact, I see lava coming out of it. It makes me think that it is a cave, but it could also just be like a ravine. So let's let's have a little inspection. Oh, is this all it is? Is this what I found? Yeah, it's just some lava. Ooh, whoa close okay this isn't too bad let's grab this stuff coal as well that's also some very very important stuff fossil fuels let's go we got pollution guys okay here we go some more iron anything else in here normally would come in here with torches and light stuff up oh no it's a, it it's a cave I'll give it that okay we found a cave okay i'm almost definitely under equipped to go on this adventure into a cave um i haven't got any armor yet I've grabbed the iron that I had with me, so hopefully when we're in there, we can get enough iron to kit ourselves out with some iron armor while we get some cobblestone and stone. It's kind of the main thing I need. I need cobblestone and stone. If I can get some coal as well, that'd be great. Uh, iron as well. Iron would also be awesome. We just need to cut ourselves out for the early game. So at least then we'll have the materials that we need going forward. Um, here we go. We've already got some coal, which is great. So let's grab this. But yeah. I'll be, uh, we'll, we'll be cutting in and out here. If there's anything interesting, we'll show you. I get a nice, I get a nice little view of a few, a few caves. We'll see, we'll see. But, um, hopefully this cave, this, well, these caves give us good rewards and there's nothing terrible. We've made some progress. We're actually finding some useful things now. <gasps> you fucking, oh my God, fucker. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that with me. So we can go a little bit deeper into the caves. Okay. I think I've got enough cobblestone now, so let's go back down here and have a look at what's all over the place. I need to watch out for suicide bombing creepers because, well, we know what just happened to me, and I nearly screamed. Who am I kidding? I did scream. Uh, we may run a replay, basically. Uh, <laughs> um, it's more iron. That's good. I feel like I should go back to those diamonds and grab them quickly, but... Oh, look at that. That was close. Hidden. It's at least one diamond, isn't it? It's not even, it's not even worth the job. Oh, no, mind, it's two. <laughs> I was nearly really upset. <laughs> oh, is this what I think it is? I was about to give up and leave. Holy shit. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Not prepared for you, buddy. Well, that's an adventure for another day. But trial chamber found by complete luck. That's kind of insane. Okay, there was something this way. I came in there. Didn't go down that way. Come up here. So I came from down here. Have I just been going around the trial chamber this entire time? It's right above me. That's insane. It was above me that entire time. I had no idea. That's that's poor from me. Oh, I, I just know there was definitely sounds as well now, wasn't there? There was definitely noises that like just showed it was there. I oh, know it's not down there because I dropped in from here. I'm up there it means i'm possibly down this way and back now the water part on here and this one and right in the water section yes found my way okay so now we're actually back at the what the base um, we're getting ready now to basically start our, our little house. This is the little plot of land that I'm kind of thinking of building it on. It's going to be a really small starter house, probably a nice small base and a little bit more room on the top. Just enough room for us to basically go in, cook a few things and store a couple chests. Nothing crazy. Very, very small build. I believe we've got everything we need to start the build. So let's go in and, and, and make that.
Okay, so I hope you guys liked that little build there. Um, yeah, it's a really, really small house. As I said, it's going to be really basic. We won't live here for long. I wanted to do something with the outside, which is why I've kind of put a farm here. Mainly just thinking two birds, one stone. I'm going to run out of food eventually. Um, you guys can't tell. I'm not a fan of doing walls and I'm not really a fan of paths. So we'll figure something out. I'll probably change the paths and the walls eventually. Um, might be something I look into finding a nice few designs online and see if I can get some creative inspiration from those as well. Um, this is a very common design that's kind of used everywhere and it was just better than what I was doing originally. I was going to use fences. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I was going to use fences originally and just kind of like do a curve design around the outside. And then I realized that I'm terrible at that and, <laughs> and decided... I would just pick something like this and go for a more like square design. Um, but yeah, so it's a really, really small build. Very, very spacious, guys, as you can tell. You know, there's loads of room for activities in here. But there's a lot of storage. Um, that, this will last me probably an episode. Uh, <laughs> so what we'll do in the next video is we'll move stuff over and, and start properly living in here. But yeah, so the last thing I kind of wanted to do today is I kind of would like to actually get a nether portal set up just so we actually have one ready so we can start going to the nether. We won't go in, but we'll we'll build the portal ready and leave on a little bit of a cliffhanger. So um, what we need to do is we need to go and get some obsidian. So let's go do that. Okay, well, uh, I grabbed 24 just, just in case. So we had uh, some backup. Um, because I might decide to do a little bit larger of a portal. Also, then we have some for an enchanting table as well. Um, when we want to make one of those, because we'll probably make an enchanting room slash area. Not that I have enough levels or an XP farm to actually, you know, do that yet. But it would be nice if we could uh, could get that built. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just find a little spot to put the Nether portal. I'm thinking just somewhere over here, maybe on this corner, um, would be nice. So we'll we'll put it by here and uh, we'll. Well, we'll get it built. I'm not just going to do your basic boring another portal. I'm going to try and do a little bit of a design with it. So, um, yeah, we'll be back momentarily. Okay, so uh, now the portal's done, we're basically sorted. Let's quickly grab the flint and steel that we got earlier, and we will light that up. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's really simple, but it's a nice little design. It's nicer than just having a crappy portal in the middle of nowhere. One thing that we did actually get while I was building the house as well, I forgot to mention earlier, we got this, which is one of the awards that you can get, well, rewards you can get for the advanced achievements with the 900 new achievements. And the, you get trophies, basically. And this is one of the trophies that you get. And you get it, I'm pretty sure, just for, for grabbing a flower. Just for context, there are a lot that we can do. Um, and you can see the ones that we've actually gotten. Those are the vanilla tweaks ones. Like, here's loads of weaponry. Okay, yeah, so that's basically everything that we kind of had planned for today. Hopefully you guys actually enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, make sure you drop a like. You guys are uh, looking forward to the new episodes and the other episodes of the series that should actually have more project scale builds inside of them and, and different projects. Then please do well, please do subscribe so you guys can stay up to date with what we're going to do. Um, I think next episode, I don't want to say what we're specifically going to do, but maybe secure the area a little bit more, some more lighting. Get a few farms going if we can. Um, go to the nether, grab some more resources. And um, hopefully we might get a few builds going as well. And see what we can actually put together in terms of like large projects now. But yeah, as, well, as you know, first episode's always a bit of a slow starter. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, amigos.